Hello guys, this is Cesar Creates and welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to the Elm Hill City Zoo where we'll add another cat to our wild cat house. I've seen all those comments from you guys asking when we'll go back to the Elm Hill City Zoo to finish the wild cat house, when I will add another cat to the wild cat house. And it is finally happening today, so I hope you guys are happy. The wild cat house had a bit of a break because of the release of the Twilight Pack. We were adding basically all of those animals to the zoo so uh, now it's time to go back to uh, the wildcat house and finally finish it and today we'll be adding the clouded leopard to the wildcat house the cat that was so much requested by you guys I think that the entire community loves the clouded leopard I am definitely one of those persons I love it as well and I am very happy that we'll finally add it to our zoo and to the wildcat house. In this video I would like to also talk with you guys about some things like uh, the new uh, grassland animal pack that is coming to us very soon and also a really nice and exciting gift that I got basically from you guys so uh, if you would like to hear more about this uh, stay tuned. But firstly let's talk about today's enclosure. So uh, as I told you guys many many times before in my previous videos regarding the wildcat house uh, there will be two indoor enclosures for two different cats and one of them is the clouded leopard that we are building and uh, for today so the uh, enclosure will be totally indoors uh, I mean it kind of makes sense because this is a tropical animal coming from tropical jungles uh, so uh, maintaining this natural habitat this natural look requires an uh, like controlled environment like closed down space with a lot of heating a lot of air conditioning a lot of you know special uh, like treatment for the plants for them to survive so we are sort of building something like a greenhouse today uh, I added those uh, windows uh, on the upper part of the building on the sides uh, this was something that I was still missing so I did that off camera before recording this habitat uh, I will show you how the uh, wildcat house looks right now uh, from the above from in the cinematic shots by by the end of this video because it's changed a bit right now it has this like additional uh, I don't know a layer additional layer of windows it looks really really nice I am very happy with how uh, this whole uh, building uh, looks right now uh, so yeah but today we are focusing on the clouded leopard as I told you guys and in the middle uh, like when you enter the house the first thing that you'll see is the clouded leopard enclosures so I really wanted to make it look special so in the front we'll have this like really nice water section and this was something that I focused on at the beginning of this video I did add some water it was a bit like wonky because of the paths because of you know me really wanting and trying to add the water area in this section but the game had totally different <laughs> idea for that and didn't want to allow me to do it but finally I managed to add the water and I am very happy with how it looks uh, I will do like the river banks from the uh, from those banks that we created uh, for some of the twilight animals so it will look really nice I also did like a background wall using the temperate rocks and the stalactites and I must confess that I stole uh, bits of this wall from my California sea lion enclosure that I did for my collaboration project the Valby City Zoo if you guys haven't seen that by the way what are you even doing <laughs> this was one of my best builds so far in planet zoo uh, and it is not only my words I think it's really good but also many other like uh, persons many other people said that it is my best build in planet zoo so uh, you definitely don't want to miss it this was the habitat that I definitely worked uh, the most time on from all of the habitats that I did so it is something really special but yeah I created this really nice wall in there and I really wanted to use it once again in here so that's what I did after that we'll add a lot of 
exotic plants to this habitat. I really wanted to add palm trees. I wanted to add some, you know, different lush trees. Uh, also, the clouded leopards, they, they love to climb. They are spending a lot of time on the trees. That's why I definitely wanted to add some trees on with the branches that they can climb on. We'll also add some climbing frames, some dead trees for them to climb on. So uh, this habitat will be pretty dense and packed, but I really wanted to make it look like a jungle. Uh, we will also uh, like decorate the river bank with some different foliage. We will do basically do the water like section nice because those guys also like to swim. Uh, so I really wanted to use that in this habitat. And while I'll be adding all the foliage, little stones and different details, let's talk about the new DLC, the Grassland Animal Pack. I already shared with you guys some of my initial thoughts about this pack in my announcement uh, video when I was covering the announcement of the new pack. Uh, so if you haven't seen that, I will also put the link down in the description and on the screen. And since that time, we already had some other screenshots of the animals released. And let me just tell you that most of those animals, I think that are so beautiful and so well done that I am very, very excited to have them. Uh, I love the Armand Dillo, I love the Caracal, I love the uh, Valabi, I wanted to say Valabi just as our zoo, but no, the uh, Valabi, uh, I love the Emu, uh, even though it has a bit like this different, uh, like weird for me, hair on the neck, it sort of looks like it had a rough day, but besides that, I love the Emu, I think that the Blue Wildebeest is exceptionally done, the main Wolf looks amazing, so yeah, really nice pack, and of course, I need to agree with most of people, uh, that the Striped Hyena, it is nice, it is a nice animal, uh, it has a really nice fur, at first when I saw it, I was really excited for this animal, but then when I heard some of the arguments that people shared uh, how it should look, what they should change. I just took a second look at this animal and I sort of agree that yeah, maybe they should change some things. If they wouldn't, I'm still fine with that. Like, uh, this is just one of the animals. It is still really, really for me, it is still really nice. I mean, the fur looks amazing. Uh, I cannot wait to see it actually, like, uh, because I think that I read somewhere that it will be able to move this fur, like, to make it more, like, pointy when it's, for example, scared or something. So it is nice. Uh, but the face, the ears, the body shape, I think it could be better. But uh, if they wouldn't fix that, I am also totally fine. Really nice animal, really nice to have it. Uh, but I can see why some people are concerned but the rest of the animals for me looks look really nice and what i wanted to also say is that in the new dlc there will be a caracal so we have a new wildcat uh, for our wildcat house and this is where i sort of will change my plans a bit uh, because what i wanted to add here to this uh, house w was the eurasian lynx and the clouded leopard the clouded leopard was supposed to be like a big uh, closing number of this entire house because I saw so many of you guys wanting to see me build for this animal so I decided to, to basically end this little series with the clouded leopard but because the caracal is added I think that it is a perfect addition to this house uh, so I still don't have caracal at this moment so I decided to build for the clouded leopard first then finish the house with the Caracal uh, and the Lynx. When it comes to the Lynx, I initially thought either way that adding the Lynx to this indoor habitat in the Wildcat house it's a bit of a stretch because the lynx is a European animal. This is the European lynx. Uh, so it could easily live in this climate. Uh, by the way, we are building this zoo in Europe. So uh, it makes sense for them to have an outdoor enclosure. So the caracal, which is an animal that comes from the warmer climates, is a perfect, makes more, more, more and more sense to add into the indoor uh, habitat. So we'll finish 
finish this house with the Caracal. We'll add it to the another indoor enclosure. And then I will also would like to add the links, but it will have a normal outdoor enclosure somewhere close to the wildcat house. Uh, because it can live in the European like climates with no problems So we can sort of imagine like that the wildcat house was built first and then the zoo's zoo was offered to You know get the links or something and they didn't have space in the house for it So they decided to build a new enclosure uh, for them for it uh, next to the wildcat house And this is what we'll do and I hope you guys are fine with it you I hope you understand and you know get my thinking I think it makes more sense basically and yeah the caracal looks amazing so I cannot wait to build a deserty or like a grasslandy uh, habitat for it in this house okay as you guys saw on the screen we added of course tons of foliage to this habitat I won't be showing you all of the planting because it took so much time and now we are sort of working on the climbing frames climbing structures some of them will be usable some of them won't be I must say that the clouded leopard has a really nice uh, traversable area it is able to reach all of the points of this habitat without needing to fix anything about uh, after building this so I am very happy with this habitat okay and now now let's talk about my early Christmas present that I got from you guys partly uh, because this is a big one this is really a big one I should probably start my video with that uh, but yeah I have some really exciting news I hope that I know that many of you guys who are fans of this series of the Elm Hill City Zoo will be very very happy because the gift that I got for myself, partly because of you, is saving the <laughs> Elm Hill City Zoo. It saved it completely. It saved it. So, the quick story short, long story short. <laughs> oh my God, my English today. Uh, so, I basically, as you know, when we have our YouTube channels, YouTubers, when we will reach 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours of watch time, uh, we are able to join the YouTube partner program, I think it is called. And from this time when you are, you know, uh, accepted for the program, your channel is making money on the uh, commercial views of the views of the advertisements, commercials and so on. So. This is not a secret that I am and other YouTubers are earning like something on their channels. Maybe those sums are not like high up the ceiling when it comes to the plans of videos, but still we are earning something. And from basically the day one that I started to earn, I was saving most, maybe not all, but most of the money that I did on the channel. Uh, so most of them I was saving on my account, not, you know, buying anything. Uh, what I bought was a microphone uh, and it was a long time ago. And from this time I was saving, saving and saving. And I saved quite... Well, like a big sum and I wanted to make my dream come true <laughs> with this money uh, also my lovely parents who uh, saw that you know this is becoming a huge part of my life and a huge uh, I like a hobby of mine and so on. I mean YouTube, recording videos, building Planet Zoo. They wanted to support my hobby and also gave me a little bit of money. And because all of that, because of the money that I earned on YouTube and money from my parents and some money from myself, <laughs> I was able to buy a new computer. So yay, fireworks and confetti and everything right now should be inserted in here in this moment because I am like actually recording this video on a new computer uh, and this is an amazing computer and uh, let me just tell you that it saved the Elm Hill City Zoo completely. I am able to build in here. I am able to unpause <laughs> the Elm Hill City Zoo and it is probably a bit laggy but prob in several places you don't see any lag like any lag at all i am so so happy because i was afraid that we won't be able to finish that zoo and right now i am certain that we will i have quite a powerful computer right now i need to say uh, i had to get it because firstly of the elm hill city zoo and secondly my second one something was my 
old one, uh, something was getting like wrong with it. I had so much problems, like for example, editing the video because it was so, so laggy. There was tons of like errors and so on. So sometimes some of my videos were delayed because of the editing programs and not working on my computer. So thank you guys so much. If you are interested, uh, I think that uh, from now on, I will put the, all the specs of my computer down in the description, but this is basically an Intel Core i9 uh, and it has the newest NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090. This is the newest and the best uh, like GPU on the market right now as far as I'm concerned. And also it has uh, 64 uh, gigabytes of RAM. So yeah, it is quite a powerful computer. I am surprised. I am actually rediscovering Planet Zoo <laughs> to be honest because uh, so many of those plants and the rocks and the uh, other like building materials for me I didn't see their textures before and now I actually see the details so I am staring at those rocks and those plants and uh, you know thinking to myself oh wow this looks amazing I didn't see that before so yeah this was a huge news that I really wanted to share with you guys and basically thank you guys for this thank you so 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 much uh, for watching my videos for supporting me uh, for you know clicking the likes because it's uh, commenting also because it basically uh, tells the YouTube algorithm algorithm that you are enjoying the videos and it is spreading them to uh, wider audiences so thank you for that because thanks to you I have a new amazing computer this is uh, like a powerful machine that I will use uh, only for right causes <laughs> so yeah I hope that there will be a many new videos and I hope that this video looks as uh, the previous ones or even better not worse because I had to you know uh, do all the adjustments I had to install on the program I had to adjust my microphone uh, once more, uh, so I hope that everything is fine. If, some, if something is, you know, off, just tell me down in the comments how I can improve the video and I will try to do it because I love to learn recently about the editing, about, you know, all the stuff. So yeah, I'm getting more and more into it. But coming back to our habitat, as you guys could see, I also added uh, a tree bark path uh, inside of the enclosure because I uh, love to see like this tree bark uh, in the indoor enclosures because it is so typical for zoos to use that it is easy to clean it looks nice it looks like jungly uh, so I really wanted to add it and I blended it with the rest of the terrain using the decal pieces then I moved on to creating the uh, indoor like not the indoor but backstage part of this habitat uh, I used the, the like mesh pieces and mesh I don't know barriers that I created for other cats I just adjusted it a bit I added some hay beddings for them I also added some small climbing structures so they can lie on those when they are closed in the backstage area I will also do some things off the camera I will add the roof to this building uh, of the camera uh, this will be a glass roof so more light comes in for those palm trees and stuff like that I will show it in the cinematic by the end of the video and I'll also do some cinematics probably be without the roof because the light is so much better without it uh, so don't be surprised when you'll see a uh, sky and on some of those uh, cinematic shots okay guys so this is all that I have for you today uh, I hope you are excited for all the new things we have the two new DLCs coming we have the grassland animal pack of course and the Dominion Malta expansion for the Jurassic World Evolution 2 and I will for sure cover them uh, both here on my channel. If you enjoyed today's video please consider to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up down below and also ring the bell if you would like to be notified every time I upload a new video. Comment down below if you enjoyed today's video and of course tell me what animal are you mostly excited to see in your game after the a, a grassland animal pack will be released. If you'd like to support my channel a little bit extra, you can consider to become a member of the channel with the join button down below. This will give you some amazing perks uh, such as custom emoji and access
access to the private Discord chat. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!